Tierra here with Jitsi Fae Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. I am back with another holiday themed soap, but this one is it's geared more toward the guys. I wanted to come up with a bit of a guy favorite soap bar, I suppose. And I also wanted to keep the wintry vibes going on in there as well as some beer. I haven't made a beer soap in a while and these things just came to my mind and I'm just gonna throw them all together. So that is what we are doing today. We're going to be making a beer soap for the boys. And it is going to have this Haze Creek Tart Blonde Ale brewed with tangerine peel in it. <laughs> the only reason why I chose this is because the name is called Haze Creek. And for those of you who don't know, that is my last name. Bradley picked these out and probably because they're called Haze Creek. <laughs> and I stole one to make some soap with. So I'm going to be replacing half of my uh, lye solution with beer. So this, this is like 16 ounces of water that goes into that. What is that? Just came off my glasses. Um, so there's like 16 ounces of water in this. I've only put in eight ounces of water and my normal amount of lye solution. And then in here is just the beer. It's eight ounces of the beer going into this. And I have opened it and let it sit for a week. So I'm going to pour that into my oils now and mix that up. If I wanted to do this with a full um, beer liquid, I would have frozen it and then added my lye to it so that it didn't burn anything. I'm also trying to trick this lye into thinking there's no extra oils in here by adding it in and mixing into my oils. Typically this works for me. Every time you add a liquid to lye, even if it's already been poured up and been sitting, if you add new liquid to it, it's going to heat up and Eventually your soap is just going to speed up on you and you're not going to be able to get to do what you want with it. So cross my fingers and I know what I'm talking about by adding this in first. If I add any type of liquid from purees to beers and juices, I am going to put it in my oils first. So let me mix that in and then I'm going to pour in my lye solution and we'll get started here. Just got that mixed together. It's not at a trace. I'm going to split it up into my colors. I chose this magic mushroom color that I'm going to color the base part of the soap or the majority of the soap with. I have some accent of a cabin fever and then I'm going to pour off some of that soap and leave it uncolored for an accent swirl as well. I'm not gonna lie that did heat up a little bit nothing crazy it still did get a little warm on me and a little thick hopefully adding my fragrance oil I can get it to thin out a little bit the fragrance I chose is a balsam and cedar and it has notes of balsam pine cedar leaf and juniper berries in it and it is a Yankee Yankee Candle Dupe. I always want to say Yankee Doodle Dupe. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, so if you've ever smelt their balsam and cedar candle, that is what it smells like. I ask a lot of my guy friends, you know, what kind of fragrances and scents do they like. Most of the time it's like a mahogany teakwood. They always rave about that. But I wanted to do something different and one of my guy friends suggested a balsam and cedar. So I picked this out not realizing <laughs> that it's it's the Yankee Candle dupe, so it does smell, it's not, it's not as masculine as I had hoped, but it's okay. It smells like Christmas. All right, getting that all mixed in, I'm going to get my mold over here and we'll start pouring. that got so thick on me I am going to put a hanger swirl through this so I'm going to scrape out a majority of my soap buckets here I'm going to run that hanger um, tool through here to give it a little bit of a swirl and then I'll show you what is going to go on top of the soap making an extra bit of mess today because a little bit of a freak out, um, freak out mood right now with it all thickening up on me. 
but it's okay. It's still going to be awesome. That's what I get for being so confident in myself. <laughs> and you stay there. In beds, I have got these are champagne bottles, but I've colored them brown to hopefully look like beer bottles. I've got some red cedar powder. This is made by Patrick over at Soapy Oaks Farm. And then I've got the juniper berries to kind of go with the notes of juniper that are in it. And it's a very woodsy looking soap right now. And it's, I mean, it's going to be. <laughs> Not quite sure what to call it yet. I'll have to get some recommendations and ask around but it's also smelling like a Christmas tree. So I'm going to line these guys up on the side and then I'll sprinkle the cedar powder and the juniper berries down the other side. And that is the plan. So I wanna talk a minute about Reddit. <laughs> it is a social media platform that I have never ever been interested in and never understood. So I was never a part of it. And I never cared to be a part of it, but I'm in a group chat with two of my girlfriends and they send me links all the time of different things they find on Reddit that they think is funny. And every time I read something on there, it always seems like people are on there to be sarcastic and trolls and to just be mean <laughs> and just, I don't know, what is the word uh, that I'm looking for here? They are just being inappropriate that is that is the word I am looking for there's a lot of inappropriate stuff on reddit so it just seemed like a negative area of things that I didn't need to get into but I kept um, getting links and I'm like guys I don't understand this how does this work how do you post what are they, how do these people comment why is it set up like this what are you supposed to do with it I just it, it was the foreign concept to me and I know it's been around for a long time but I just never cared to look into it until one day I was sitting down at the nail salon getting a pedicure with my one of my friends that's not part of that group chat and I was thinking maybe I'm missing out on something maybe there is a good side to reddit and I just haven't found it yet and then I could be missing out on some opportunities so I turned to my friend Sarah who's also getting her toes done and I go do you get on reddit and she shows me her phone and she's currently sitting there playing on Reddit. And I'm like, now, now I have to get it. Like, this is just ridiculous. Everyone has it besides me, so I'm missing out on something. And she's showing me some of the soap making groups that are on there and forum, forums, I guess is the right word that, that you would call that. And I saw a couple soap makers that I know, like Danny over at Starcross Soapery, and I saw some of her stuff up there. I'm like, well, if these guys are on there, I need to be on here. So I got an account. <laughs> and since I got that account, I was, I posted like two pictures. I don't know the rules of how, you, how many times you should post on Reddit or what's acceptable. But I did post two pictures of soaps that I had done. And I got a message from a guy in California that was that it is a woodworker and he had asked me if I would be interested in some soap dishes. I had inspired him to try making some soap dishes, so not something that he typically makes or specializes in, but he saw my YouTube channel and he saw the pictures of all the soap and he was just inspired to make some soap dishes. And I'm thinking, oh, wooden soap dishes, okay, I've seen those, like the slat looking bamboo or cedar wood dishes and I was like well that's cool sure I'll be sh I'll, you know I'll try it out I don't have any soap dishes I'm actually looking for a couple and he sends me these sketches that he drew up himself that were inspired by my soap and my style and I was just blown away I was floored because I'm thinking oh that's not your typical soap dish that's pretty neat and so he sent me it and I'm going to leave a link down below to his shop because if you guys are interested in getting it you can as well um, and I'll do the little unboxing 
after the cutting of this, but it is such a very, very cool, unique, craftsman-like I can't eat. it's just it just blew me away it really did it's not what I expected whatsoever when I thought of soap dish and wood but that is my I don't know drunken woodsman soap I haven't quite thought of a name of it yet I need to work on that but I, I think it turned out really cool and I can't wait to cut it even though it got a little thick on me it's going to be awesome on the inside so I'll give this a little spray of the rubbing alcohol and I'll let this sit for 24 hours and then we'll come back and cut it let's cut into this I have turned it on its side so that the cedar powder does not drag through it and we don't get drag marks I'm really really loving these colors very woodsy a very woodsy soap but yet it smells like a Christmas tree and it has beer in it so I'm definitely having a heck of a time coming up with a name for it and yeah I still love it though and I've got a couple suggestions to go over as far as what to name it but that swirl came out really pretty very very nice so these will be available on the December 16th shop update if you'd like to get your hands on one I am very excited to show you guys this um, soap soap dish <laughs> The guy said, his name's Joe, he said that he makes them all by hand, so all the chisels and files and everything is done by hand, and so it's just, it's so pretty, it's so detailed, you guys. Alright, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give me a thumbs up, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. And until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day. I will smell you later. So here is the soap dish that Joe over at Sparks Inspired has sent me. It is a book, you guys. How unique is that? A book-shaped soap dish. And you can even see like the grains in the wood make it look like they're pages. I just think it's just the coolest thing ever. Um, with soap dishes, you gotta have drainage. So the way he designed this is just awesome. Look at the cover of it. It's like a hardback too, you know, I, I love my hardcover books too. <laughs> Obsessed with the books, so this, I'm, I'm just so happy with this and I'm so thankful. Um, yeah, and I so had a suggestion form of like maybe doing some book titles as well. I thought that would look really cool if you can do like maybe a Pride and Prejudice or whoever your favorite author is or book. I think that would be really neat. And look at that, it is perfect. I love it. I'm going to leave you guys his link down below. They even have these little guys. It's very like Beauty and the Beast-esque, right? So cool. Link below if you guys are interested. I know he is eager to make more of these for anyone that wants one. So that is really cool. I love it.